Hey guys, James from CodeWP, and I am very excited to demonstrate the brand new CodeWP version 2.5 release that just came out a couple of days ago. This is our best release yet, and it's one that's been under progress for around three months. This is a complete backend refactor, so you'll see a bunch of new features in the platform, but you'll also see a lot of improvements to old features in the platform, including stability issues being completely resolved, brand new AI models deployed specific for WordPress that are three times to four times faster in their responses, as well as two times more accurate in their generations. Also much better comprehension of requests. They might even go and ask you a clarifying question if they don't understand what you're trying to create. They're really awesome. A new editing system. This is an improvement to our old editing system where you could conversationally modify code find and replace things within code, extend the code, create new files, do that all through the conversation. We've completely reworked that system. So it's now much more accurate and much more impressive, which hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate in a few minutes. Improved classification by completely swapping out how we do classification as well as the model that powers that. We've added additional advanced modes and presets, a foundation for our helper plugin, which integrates directly with WordPress websites, connects with the sites feature in CodeWP and allows CodeWP to essentially understand the makeup of that site so it can create accurate code for it, as well as one of the biggest features and one of the coolest features I've ever seen in AI, not just our own product, the WordPress preview feature. And you actually, perfect timing, you can see that in that GIF right here. But instead of watching GIFs, I'm gonna go over to the CodeWP platform and show you how this 2.0, 2.5 update actually works. And hopefully this will be all done in real time so you can kind of see the speed and power of the generations and edits. First, if you're coming from 1.0, we've released, we've been around since 2022, so you might have only used 1.0's version. This is a much different and much more powerful interface. And even compared to the 2.0 release that we had back in October 2023, there are a lot of changes and improvements in terms of the UI. However, if you're comparing it to the most recent update, 2.4, there's not much changing going on in terms of the front end, but you will definitely see a massive update in terms of the AI. So working from the top to the bottom, here's our file editor tab. We have multi-file support. You can easily export plugins because of the multi-file support. You can create them conversationally. Um, everything in this file right here is what you're referencing to in your prompting over on the right sidebar. So if I ask code to be created, it will be created as if a developer is writing it into my editor right here. If I ask it to be edited or explained, it will do that within this interface. Over here, this is a major addition for version 2.5, the preview toggle. I'll spoil it right now. When you turn it on, all of the code that's within this file is brought into a working instance of WordPress and you can go and use it to test things, preview things, see how this code that you just generated with AI actually works. Over in the right sidebar, not much has changed between 2.4 and 2.5, except for the update from projects to sites. So projects and sites, they're essentially the same thing. We just renamed it for clarity. A site organizes generations by websites. It also allows you to incorporate custom and specific information in terms of the code generation to go and say, my website is named this, the goals of this website are this, the default color scheme of the website is this, our PHP version is eight plus. All of this information can then be used when the site is associated with the generations going on here. Everything else is the same. You can open the current snippet by clicking this in a public view. I'll show you that as well. And the modes and presets, we've added a couple of modes and presets. We've also um, really extended some of the existing modes with more presets. So for example, Breakdance had one preset um, in version 2.4. Now in version 2.5, it has six, I wanna say, or five. And these are really cool presets. You can check out the tutorial video that we just published um, showing you how they work. All right, I'm gonna show you the generations instead of talking now. And I'm gonna do this in real time so you can see the speed. So I'm gonna voice type out what I want. I'm gonna click the generate button and things will get generated. I want a custom post type related to cars as well as two taxonomies. Please include all of the labels for clarity. Okay, so we've gone ahead and submitted our prompt and you can see that CodeWP instantly understands, okay, this is a generation prompt. I don't need to be creating a new file. This file is empty. I'm not editing anything. There's no code in there. And I'm gonna go and just stream out all of the code 
that the user has requested. So I'm asking for a custom post type related to cars, as well as two taxonomies um, related to this custom post type. And you can see all of my labels have been added, all of my taxonomies, they're getting labels too. And this is a quick stream. This is something that is going to probably result in about 100 lines of code or more. Um, and it's coming out pretty quick, pretty accurate. And it's being streamed in as if somebody was actually writing it. So once this generation is done, I'm going to show you something even more impressive because this generation's cool, um, but we've had great generations for several months at this point. What's even more impressive is the conversational editing. And you'll see that once CodeWP wraps up, it'll tell you, hey, I've created this custom post type. It has two taxonomies associated with it. Um, here's how you can go and use it. But now I want to go and conversationally edit things. So it's named my custom post type car, but I don't want it to be car called car. I want it to be called car group. So I'm going to say that. Instead of calling the custom post type car comma, I want it to be called car underscore group period. Please update the way this is registered accordingly as well as the taxonomies. All right, not all right. All right, so we've gone ahead and requested a conversational edit. And my edit is, I don't want this thing to be called cars. I want it to be called car group. But if I update the post type here, if I know what I'm doing in code, this is actually quite easy. I just update car to car group. But if I update this code right here, all of these taxonomies related to car will no longer associate with car group. So this is a complex edit to be asking of a user who's non-technical or an AI that needs to really understand this entire file and edit it accordingly. But I'm gonna go and show you this edit and how it works. So I'm gonna bring you to first this update and we'll watch things stream in as needed. So I submit my request. CodeWP thinks for a bit and says, okay, do they want to edit? Do they want to generate? What do they want to do? And you'll see that things get rewritten pretty quickly. So our taxonomies are rewritten as well as our custom post type. The custom post type is now car group, but we've also renamed the actual functions being called right here. In addition to the car group, the function names for the taxonomies and the associations with that custom post type. And this again is all done in real time. It's really impressive in terms of the speed, but also the understanding of our conversational editing. All right, that's cool. But now let's say I want another taxonomy related to this new car group. That is a third one under the same theme. Okay, so I'm gonna go and submit that. And this is a, another conversational edit where I'm going to say, hey, I just want to add more information to this to this code. I want to extend it essentially. And what will happen is it will go and do various updates to make sure everything works. And it will add my third taxonomy uh, within the same theme of the generations, which is just car groups. And this is my third third taxonomy. And you'll actually see, I think it's calling itself no, it's calling itself types, which is cool. So this is within the same theme. And again, another example of that conversational edit, which I find really impressive. We can extend, modify, edit, update, do whatever uh, as needed. All right, so I've shown you the generations. I've shown you the edits. I've shown you some of the changes that's gone on within this platform. Now let me show you this preview feature. So I'm just going to click this toggle. And again, as I mentioned, all of this code, whatever's in here, this can actually be code that is uh, your, your code generated by AI, but it can also be third party code pasted in and edited or just code pasted in using this preview feature, whatever's in this index PHP file or whatever this file is named, it will be brought into WordPress where we can then preview it. And I, I'll actually change this file name saying cars post type, just to show you how it gets brought in and I'll click the preview toggle and this will prepare WordPress. This runs WordPress completely in the browser. This isn't working with a third party server. This is being done in your browser and it will initialize the CodeWP helper plugin. And this CodeWP helper plugin is again running in WordPress and this WordPress is running directly in the browser in the CodeWP platform. There's no external communication. This is completely private, safe, secure, no internet connection, nothing like that. It's running right within your browser. And that number one allows it to be really quick. Number two allows it to update whenever any of this code updates, the file within here gets updated as well. 
And it's just really a great way to test and preview code within WordPress. And you'll already see that not only is the snippet brought over, but my custom post type for cars is added as well as my three various taxonomies and things like that are also added. And this is very impressive to me. We're running WordPress within our platform. We can generate code in about three seconds, spin up WordPress in about another three seconds and test out that code within WordPress just like so. So this preview feature, again, just toggle, toggle it right in the top right bar of this generation and you're good to go. So hopefully this preview showed you or this demonstration of 2.5 showed you not only the preview feature, but also all of the updates that have gone into this platform to make the generations awesome. These are long generations. You can do hundreds of lines of code very easily specific to WordPress. There are many modes, many presets according to WordPress plugins and things like that, as well as a really powerful conversational editing system, which doesn't just tell you how, how you should code things, but it actually goes and updates the code in real time in front of you as if a developer was doing it for you. So we can use it to not only change things around within the code, but we can use it to add additional code to our file. We can even say, make, a, make an additional file that does something else. So I'll actually show you that right now. Make a brand new CSS file that is used to modify the way the admin dashboard looks. And I'll just go and conversationally do that edit request and it will go and actually create my brand new admin dashboard style, general body style. You see it streaming in right here, CSS file within the same package. So you can see right here, we've gone ahead and added our new CSS file, make the brand new CSS file used to modify the way the admin dashboard looks, tells me how it's gone and created it. It actually creates the new file as well. It streams in all the code and it properly adds our uh, CSS file extension as opposed to PHP or JavaScript or JSON, whatever the case is. So that's just another example of how the edit has really improved and how our AI genuinely understands what you're trying to do and not only understands what you're trying to do, but also allows you to preview everything accordingly. And again, this platform has really, really gotten quite powerful over the past couple of updates. I think 2.5 really puts the pin in it and says, this is an incredible platform when it comes to creating code for WordPress, generating snippets, generating plugins, and even just chatting with a WordPress specific AI within the chat mode, leveraging these modes. I haven't even shown you the brand new modes. I can say, I can set the Elementor mode and just say, what builder is this? Submit that question and close out of our voice chat. Submit that question within the Elementor mode and it just tells me all about Elementor. So again, this is a really awesome update. I just showed you the core features of our brand new generation edit explaining features as well as the brand new preview feature. You can run through and continue to play around with the CodeWP platform for free. And if you have an account or if you just wanna sign up uh, app.codewp.ai and you can get all of the modes, you can get all of these crazy features and basically unlimited actions when upgrading to the pro mode in CodeWP. All right, hopefully this is a great walkthrough of CodeWP version 2.5. As you can tell, I'm quite excited about it. There are a lot more updates coming, but this one was a big one. So hopefully you guys enjoy using it.